God, look at that design. It looks gorgeous. Welcome to Car Scene Korea. I introduce newly released Genesis Hyundai and Gia cars. And on my background today, facelift Gia K5, aka Optima for North American market. So it's been Optima thus far, but finally Gia is now settling down with their names, starting with Carnival, so no more Sedona. All the pedestrians just walking by, they cannot help themselves but to get inside. Oh yeah, listen to that AMG. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, all right, so he's done. All right, so this is the Gia K5 right on my background, and I will show you all about it. Gia now has what's called Black Fit. That essentially is the same thing as the Hyundai's Black Ink Edition. Well, perhaps I might just come up with a whole video dedicated to give you a walk around of the Black Fit model. Just meet me over there in that video. There is a good reason why I'm taking a super long intro outside. Gia to set up the place as like a rave theme perhaps it's got the whole club vibe going on right now they are actually giving away free cocktail the drinks right here right now here this is Songsu. this is the heart of where all the automotive industry of korea started and this place city gave birth to the place kudos to gia they actually did an amazing job of the display absolutely love it oh i think it is so this is the moonscape gray matte that is the color that we saw on the ev6 gt all right so let's get inside 2024 gia k5 immediately we can see there is a brand new logo for gia right there and this has the gt vibe to it as well let's get started with that 12.3 inch dual monitors left and right it's been a while we started seeing this on hyundai motor group family cars and also gia cars sportage um sorrento and carnival the list just goes on and on this 12.3 inch dual monitors are like industry standard now when it comes to the hyundai motor group family i I also just have this 2024 Santa Fe the test driver I have a camper setup so it's essentially the identical UI which is also backed up with the CCNC which are also backed up with OTA services over the air updates so you can actually get wireless updates on your navigation infotainment system without having to pay a visit to the dealerships in Korea cars that are equipped with the CCNC and the OTA that I just mentioned actually have have been getting wireless Android Auto as well as Apple CarPlay updated on their cars just to name a few Ionic 5 as for the Gia cars I believe Sorrento just had it too the list is constantly being updated as we speak so fingers crossed it will hopefully arrive where you are in your country as soon as possible we are finally out of the tunnel guys we are gonna get the wireless connections on the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay now you can dial through the navigation and a system not only does it get a huge space in the middle it really helps settle design of the interior all throughout as you can see there is just the wide passenger seat right there you will get used to this feature in no time once you become the owner and the driver of the vehicle because i did as you can see it's got the augmented reality navigation system set up at the same time you see you have the good old navigation system right here too and also surround view wow so you do have the surround view camera right here you can have weather forecasts sports the list just goes on and on this again can also be updated via ota just push on that switch around the navigation simply just like that and back to the dial that i was talking about you can actually rotate it just like so to zoom in and out this is super handy i really encourage you to use it if you have dials on your car now i'm in the passenger seat let me show you a better view so right there two c type charging ports so you can actually press this down this will be charging and transferring data at the same time press that for charging only it's really simple simple and direct as that. There is now a wireless charging pad as well. Right, just, oh, okay. I found that out by accident. As you can see, this cannot fit oh stupid me so that is not actually for the smartphone this one is all right there we go it's charging wirelessly it fits iphone 14 pro max size with a case cover no problem and 12 volt system right here including 
the good old drop down glove box right here. Anything that you see from the dashboard above has been changed, or maybe I should say the dashboard is like that. <laughs> so anything above is changed, anything below kind of did stay the same. The good old cup holder type, the rotary type dial right here for the shift by wire, SBW gear types, turn on and off the engine for ISG right here. This is what I noticed the difference is. A K5 is not engraved. It's actually just printed on top of the plastic, just like many other, all the other buttons are. And I will, I do see the reason why. There is the heated steering wheel on the left. So this is the dummy button, but they couldn't really come up with uh, another button to come up with, right? So probably they put the K5 right there. The good old drive mode. So just simply, you can rotate it like so. It's not the most luxurious feeling, I would say. However, it gets the job done. You can just keep going on the right and it will toggle through different drive modes. Some cars just don't do it, which kind of annoys me. So that's a plus for Gia K5. This is the fingerprint recognition system, new on this facelift as well. And this storage spot right here, hmm, you know, it is definitely shaped different from the preface lift. And honestly, it's not super deep. And I don't know how you can get creative with that. Maybe this is something that I'm thinking about. You could put your smartphone like so. Nope. So honestly, um, you know, it's better than nothing. That is for sure. That seems to be the perfect use. So the buttons here, you don't really use after you start up the car. So think that might be a great use for heated and ventilated seats very direct and intuitive with the colors and different levels you can actually switch around these two right away there are three interior colors in total one black second martian brown third is sand which is the interior color right here honestly this interior is my personal favorite by far i always love white and bright interiors this is not precisely the color that i would think of when i hear sand but let me know in the comment below how do you think about the color name and there we go so this is the door panel that is very different from the preface lift of course it's got the obvious and self-explanatory buttons here but this type of stuff is what i'm talking about when it comes to Kia design. You can see that on the interior as well as the exterior that we talked about briefly right there. That Kia EV6 GT5 on the front as well. Of course not to mention about the DRL. So all of this is actually found inside out. You can see there are two memory seats so not the biggest cup holder that you might find out in the market. But again, it's good enough for a sedan being. Are there buttons for the lights and the VDC? And look at that, that is the best part ever. Finally, we get automated tailgate. Actually, well, Gia K5 did not get the title of being first in its class, unfortunately, because that title was actually claimed by Sonata, brother, sister car of Gia K5, as we know, right? However, is it going to be super quiet? And it is, and it is, because I was really blown away by how quiet the automated tailgate was, and it indeed is super quiet, just like it was on Hyundai Sonata. It's no doubt because these two are brother-sister cars, however, still, it looks very different when it comes to the exterior though, right? What do you like better? Tell me in the comment below, which one do you like better, Sonata versus Kia K5? I really have a torn and split opinion at the moment, thinking about Sonata and looking at this Kia K5 in real life, in person for the first time. I will get back to the exterior. Of course, it's really important thing is the interior for this facelift model. So there is also a, although manual, there is a sunshade, a blind. You also get heated seats on the second row. Although tiny, there is a cup holder as well. Isofix on the second row seats, both one on the left and one on the right. So two of them on the rear seats, armrest. It's almost hard, really hard to pull it down now because there is no handle or clip of any sort. 
I actually have to stick my finger in right here to lower it. Although a little tricky, it's really flush and nice and clean when it's put up. It looked like a ski through, but it is not. So that is actually the rubber. It's actually supporting against the plastic tray right here. So it's not going to make any rattling sounds. So that is the amount of how much paying attention to that Kia has done with this K5. Right there. That is also a built-in cam 2.0, which is the dash cam. So that is the integrated onboard dash cam, the latest one from Hyundai Motor Group family. It can now actually record the audio as well. And there is also the HUD. There you go. It's a little hard to visualize it, but it's right there, very vivid and clear. Let's see what it does when we go into the augmented reality. All right, so push this around to go into the different navigations and you can go into the augmented reality just like that and okay you don't see anything on the HUD even with the augmented reality on also does come with the panoramic sunroof this is the killer look at that and that is definitely design Kia what you guys say so look at that this is the real wide panoramic sunroof so when it comes to the roof line of the Kia k5 just look how sleek that is so it's always been like this from the first generation Kia k5 starting with that line right there just look it would not drop down and just cut off and get finished right here which all ordinary sedans do it doesn't do that with k5 k5 actually has the roof line stretching down all the way far to the rear trunk hugs around this portion right here too pulling our eyes thinking and believing that this is almost like a fastback a hatchback like so when this facelift model was under camo there were also rumors and people saying that this might be a fastback type where the whole trunk lid would open up perhaps the hinge being somewhere right here just like Kia ah, really hurts to bring that name up but Kia Stinger the discontinued Kia Stinger just like that it could have had the hatch opening up right over there if Kia wanted to right because we know that Kia can do it however Kia still does have that design that they pursue up until this facelift model the third generation it's got the piano black so it's not a glass this is a glass right here it's not a glass it's got the plastic cover but it does extend down all the way to here Kia just could have done like forget about it we'll just finish the roof line right here and call it a day that as the exposed trunk but once again Kia has gone above and beyond took another step forward carrying over that design heritage and legacy that Kia K5 has been getting from generation one speaking of let's come to the profile right here and this is what I like a lot about K5 as well that spoiler like like trunk so the trunk also works as a spoiler so it's also concave and definitely does serve the purpose of being a spoiler because you see you can actually see how steep and angled it is right so Kia emblem in the middle but it's really carved in eh, okay so that is the turn signal turn signal and the trunk is really carved in just like that so it certainly does the purpose of doing working as a spoiler for the first time ever that is the brand new Kia K5 emblem the flat brushed emblem that we're seeing for the first time what is actually different is you see the rear reflector and that portion is also finished in the high gloss black fake muffler tips it's been a while we, we've been getting that however the diffuser actually is there to serve the purpose even for the fan over there it seems to be much more aggressive than so-called a ordinary sedans out there flare on the k5 then it's right here <laughs> some manufacturers are just really getting rid of the exhaust tips even the fake ones like this so still I really do like seeing these exhaust tips I really think it suits well with the car overall there's the button right here and that is for the reverse cam not the best lighting and not the best audio situation in the world at the moment hopefully I will get invited to the press day for Gia as well so I can deliver you the top-notch video and review however we'll still you know i get to show you the first look of the car here in korea here is the underneath of the trunk you can see the emergency kits 
the puncture kits and all will go inside right here for selected markets there are emergency spare tires so um, do check with your local dealers if you are getting that where you are you actually would pull this to fold the second row seats that is how much space we can get you could expect to get those are all the seats folded just like that so it's it is angled just a little bit but not too bad and let me show you what's underneath the hood gas lift and also included on the facelift is this strut ring it does work together with the suspension so it is there to aid and help we first saw that on hyundai elantra and that's been implemented on a lot of hyundai motor group cars since then including ev6 gt that is to work together with a suspension that being said you will see over there on the other side of the mount as well as for the engine and transmission nothing and i mean nothing has been changed from the preface left model so mostly it's the exterior as well as the interior that this k5 has gotten and well the powertrain so i will list you all the powertrain available here in korea for north american market model you guys have been getting the 2.5 turbo as well right so fingers crossed you will also get that the engine choices the powertrain specs that you currently have in your market where you are is most likely going to be the same for this facelift 2024 kia k5 as well so the sound absorbers here and oh so it feels different Different as well so this sound absorber is definitely an upgrade it feels different from the other materials that I have seen thus far from Hyundai Motor Group family so it's really cushiony and you could probably see it from the textures too right all right so that rubber would actually so it's right behind the ledge so this is where the rubber is gonna go somewhere right here just like that so let me tell you and cover the front look of Kia K5 finally so this DRL what do you think it is it is supposed to represent the heartbeat or but mostly so that just looks like a lightning lightning from Harry Potter perhaps so that is a heartbeat signal but overall the official name right here is the star map signature lighting which is the design cue from Kia family is this not reminiscent of a car that we have met before just take a look at the front look if it's not obvious let me give you this angle and now do you see something right there that is the ev6 gt front bumper design that we saw from the ev6 gt but also has a triangle portion which is carved inside and over there although that is just the dummy so it's actually not cut open it's actually all closed that really goes well with the drl together very well what do you think and the brand new tiger mask which started from the tiger face now is a tiger mask and that is supposedly the nose of a tiger in the middle you will be able to tell that this is Gia from a distance Gia seems to have tried out this and that with their DRLs and the design overall I mean it is a facelift after all so that's what they need right but what do you say about the front look I really like that refreshed DRL never seen before except for the part that as we can see it's super thin and it's all connected right here including the fender and the line also stretches out to here and that is all embedded with the headlights that is going to cost you a lot even a tiny scratch if you rack anything it's going to cost you a lot because you cannot really fix a headlight mostly 99% of the time you have to replace the headlights right sensors everywhere and the car is also equipped with what the 360 cam right here on the side mirror as well so when you put the car in reverse and when you also go into narrow tight parking spaces the digital cam will automatically pop up and will help you guide you aid you not scratching your car <laughs> honestly it's not that big of a car size for you to have to worry about scratching your car here and there so fingers crossed you'll get used to it in no time honestly however unlike the front 
the rear actually is splitted into two different parts towards the rear taillight, the lower portion. And just check out that profile view as well. It's sleek, looks like a fastback. Although it's a sedan, it's the design cue that we've been seeing evidently starting from the first gen. And right now we're looking at the third generation facelift model Kia K5. Unlike the DRL, the rear taillights are actually cut so rear taillights are not completely all connected. As you can see, there is a disconnected taillight right in between right there. So if you scrape the rear part, perhaps you might actually save extra dollar because you're not going to break that. And when you have a very pointed tip like that, you actually more than often end up breaking the tip because well, tell me about it. I've been there and done that with my Nissan 370Z having that pointy pointy tail light. There's some people like it, some people just hate it because they think they have overdone it. Just forcing it into the rear design. I honestly think it really looks great having the K kind of a design embedded right there which we saw on Kia K8 and K7. Another huge upgrade that this Kia K5 facelift has gotten is, although it's limited to the highest trim, if you roll down the second row window, you can actually see that it's acoustic laminated glasses, dual pressed right here on the second row. So it actually gets better NVH, which stands for noise vibration and harshness. So this was not it. This was not available on pre-facelift, but it now is on a facelift model. Again, don't be confused. It's only limited to a fully loaded model. However, the option is there. And this being the gasoline model, the regular model, there also is a internal hybrid model over there as well. Fingers crossed, if I get the chance, I will also test drive hybrid model because it will come with what's called the E-Ride. That includes the E-Motion, E-Handling that we first saw with the Kia Sportage hybrid. That helps with going over the speed bump, controls the pitching of the car, and the car, the motor, also helps you with a sudden maneuver and steering wheel in case of emergencies. Look at that design, it looks gorgeous. As usual, I'm running short on time. I'm running behind the schedule. 